Hi, I am student nurse Leica Bartolaba and for this video, I will be showing you how to properly done the surgical hand scrubbing, donning the sterile gown, and close gloving. So without further ado, let's get started. Surgical hand scrubbing. It is a vigorous and lengthy cleaning of the skin of the hands and forearms with water, antiseptic agent, and scrub or sponge to create friction. It is also called counted stroke scrub. For the equipments, surgical cup, surgical mask, antimicrobial soap, plain scrub brush, sink with foot, knee, or elbow control and high faucet, and sterile towels. The purposes are to remove dirt and skin oil from the hands and lower arms and to reduce the microorganisms count to as near zero as possible. For the elements, water, antiseptic agent, scrub or sponge, and friction. In anatomical time scrub method, nails should be 30 seconds with brush, fingers each side in web space, 1 minute with sponge, palmer surface, 15 seconds with brush, dorsal surface, 15 seconds with sponge, forearm divided in half to 2 inches above elbow, 1 minute with sponge or 30 seconds each half, then repeat the process for each other hand. For the counted brush stroke method, nails should be 30 strokes with brush, fingers each side and web space, 20 strokes with sponge, palmer surface, 20 strokes with brush, dorsal surface, 20 strokes with sponge, forearm divided in half to 2 inches above elbow, 20 strokes each third with sponge. Then repeat this process for each other hand. For the expected behavior, check for completeness of supply, this to prevent having to stop and obtain the materials needed, remove all pieces of jewelry, including the wedding ring if any, for jewelry harbors microorganisms, trim your nails if needed, no nail polish or artificial nails should be warm, for microorganisms collect in cheap nail polish and under artificial or long fingernails. This time, apply a cup and surgical mask for this provides a barrier to reduce the spread of microorganisms from the hair and respiratory tract. Stand before the sink, keeping the body away from it. Turn on the water and adjust the pressure using the foot or elbow control, free hands from touching anything. Holding your hands above your elbow, wet the skin from your fingertips to elbow. Since your hands will be the cleanest and once the scrub is completed, follow the principle of allowing water to flow from the cleanest area to the most contaminated area. Wet and apply approximately 1 teaspoon of antimicrobial soap on the palm using the foot control and works up a lather for 1 minute. For soap emulsifies skin oils and contaminants and facilitates the removal. And when using a prepackaged scrub brush, sponge pad, open the package, remove the nail cleaner and clean the nails and discard. Then remove the brush and discard the wrapper. Do not set down the brush once the scrub is begun. If the brush or sponge is not impregnated with the cleaning agent, moisten the brush or pad and dispense the soap onto it. Once the scrub is begun, the brush is never put down until the scrub is complete as it would then be contaminated. Using circular strokes, scrub all skin surfaces of the nails, fingers, palms of the hands, and back of the hands forearms, elbow, continuous scrub of dominant hand for the scrubbing action loosens resident bacteria and contaminants, thus facilitating their removal, circular motions mechanically remove also microorganisms.
After that, rinse the soap from your skin, allowing the water to run from your fingertips to elbows. For water should run from the area of least contaminated to the area of the most contaminated one. Use foot, knee, or elbow control to turn off the water, for this also to avoid contamination of your hands. By keeping your hands up and in front of and away from you, walk to the table where the towels are kept, pick up the sterile towel by one end and allow the towel to unfold. Dry each hand and arm with opposite ends of the sterile towel, working from the fingertips toward the elbow. For drying prevents irritation of the skin and also dry from the cleanest area to the most contaminated area. Discard the towels properly. Then keep your hands above your waist at all times. For the next procedure, donning a sterile gown and close gloving. The nurse must wear a sterile gown in the delivery room so sterile objects can be comfortably handled with less risk of contamination. A gown is applied after surgical hand scrubbing and after the nurse has donned a mask and surgical cap. The purposes are provide a barrier between microorganisms on the nurse's uniform and the client, maintain a microbe-free covering over the nurse's uniform, and prevent a nosocomial infection associated with an invasive procedure such as handling delivery. And for the equipments needed, sterile gloves, mask, surgical cup or bonnet, and sterile gown. For the expected behavior, inspect the autoclaving tape used to secure the gown. Note that it confirms the sterility of the contents. Don mask and cap. Carry out surgical hand scrubbing for at least 5 minutes each hand. For scrubbing eliminates microorganisms from surface of hands. A mask and cap reduce chances of transmitting organisms to gown by direct contact or airborne transmission. This time, pick up a gown grasping inside surface at the collar. For hands are not completely sterile, inside surface of gown will contact clothes and skin surface so it is considered contaminated. Send away from the sterile pack and table. Hold gown at arm's length away from your body to allow the gown to unfold by itself. Be careful not to allow gown to touch the floor or any unsterile field. For contact of outer surface of gown with the dirty or clean surface would result in gown contamination. Hold gown by inside, open shoulder and seams and insert each hand through armholes. Inside surface of gown is considered contaminated. Keeping your upper arms in front of you at shoulder height, extend hands toward gown cuff. Do not push hands through cuffs. For extension of arms straight and ahead, keep sterile outer surface of gown in view and reduces risk of touching floor or a portion of your body. Having also circulating nurse to assist by reaching inner side of the gown and pulling inner shoulder and side seams onto your shoulders for working from behind scrub nurse will prevent contamination by circulating nurse. Gown should also be fit comfortably. For the number 8 of the procedure, with your hands still inside the gown, open the sterile inner wrapper of the glove on the sterile field for this to prevent contamination of the sterile gloves. Number 9, with your dominant sleeved hand, grasp the cuff of the gloves for the non-dominant hand and lay it on the extended non-dominant forearm with palm up. Place the palm of the glove against the sleeve palm with fingers of the gloves facing towards the elbow. For this, only sterile items come in contact with each other. Number 10, manipulate the glove so that the sleeve thumb of the non-dominant hand is grasping the cuff. With your dominant hand working through its sleeve, grasp the upper side of the glove cuff and stretches the cuff over the end of cuff of the gown. For this to prevent the hand from contaminating the sterile gloves. Number 11, with sleeve dominant hand, grasp the cuff of the glove and the gown sleeve of the non-dominant hand, slowly extend the fingers into the gloves making sure that the cuff of the glove remains above the cuff of the glove sleeve for this to provides a close sterile method of gloving number 12 with the glove non-dominant hand 
puts the glove on the dominant hand by repeating step 9 and 10. This to maintain a static technique in donning gloves on the dominant hand. And after all of that, adjust feet and remove wrinkles of the gloves. Thank you for watching!